You are a key player on the greatest sack team this world has ever seen. You and others like you who have preceded you have kept the peace for over 40 years through strength, dedication, and training. I'm proud of you. We need every one of you to keep our team and our great nation strong. You should be proud of your contributions to the nation proud of your uniform, and proud of the Strategic Air Command. Since day one, the Strategic Air Command has earned the reputation for excellence. Your devotion to duty has been a key ingredient to the development of this well-deserved reputation. You are the world's most professional missileers, and that has been a foundation for our success. Now, pride in airmanship builds and strengthens our combat capability and directly contributes to our mission, which we all know is deterrence. The SAC Missileer has won a war every day since SAC's first ICBMs were placed in silos more than 25 years ago. Now, our missiles stand ready each day for an event that we all hope and pray will never occur. Each day, you are trained and tested to ensure you can do the one mission your very existence is meant to prevent. Dedication is equally important whether you operate or maintain or support our missile systems. The bottom line is that your devotion to duty buys deterrence, and every hour of deterrence is a victory for you, for me, and for our great nation. How are you doing? Good afternoon, sir. Now, by airmanship, I mean skill, discipline, and the self-confidence to successfully operate, and maintain, and secure these missile systems under any circumstances. It's how well we perform alerts, operate the equipment, and stand ready to defend our great nation. Pride in that ability, pride in personal commitment and achievement is extremely important. 
Now, pride comes from discipline, experience, and good training. The sure knowledge that we can launch if ever called upon to do so. At SAC headquarters, we are doing things to help you fine tune your skills and add to the quality of your personal airmanship. Efforts have been underway for some months now, emphasizing personal proficiency, stressing missile crew commandership, implementing changes to make your EWO and your weapon systems training more in tune with the real world requirements, providing better guidance on missile crew management and responsibilities. We're doing these things because airmanship is important to us, and it's important to you. The mission hasn't changed. Our missile force is still responsible for holding at risk the highest priority targets in the Soviet Union. The SAC missile force provides a timely and effective response that cannot be met by any other element of our strategic forces. We're gonna squeeze all the combat capability possible out of the resources that we have been given and keep fighting that war that missileers have fought for over a quarter of a century. Deterrence is our business and peace is our product. However, in the event of war, your task is very clear. You've got to fight and win. There are no prizes for second place in a war. There are several things you can do that you must do to help. You've got to be proud of your mastery of the EWO procedures and the weapon system skills You've got to work hard to be the best because airmanship is all about excellence. So start becoming an expert at your job. Now that's not easy. It's going to require, as you know, many hours of study and it's going to require practice on your part. But things that we value most in a personal sense will always take hard work. You are SAC's missile warriors, and you're the world's best, most professional missile men and women in the world. The training opportunities you are receiving now will help you stay on top of your profession. But your formula for success is pretty basic. Study, practice, hard work, and study some more. You gotta know all these systems. You gotta know the procedures and the techniques. And you gotta know them cold. You gotta volunteer for that extra ride in the box. One of the special things for the younger crew members in particular is to talk with the old heads, pick their brains, benefit from their experiences. And once you get those old heads started, I can assure you they will talk for hours, if not days, and you'll learn something of value. The bottom line is you've got to build your base of experience any way you can, and plagiarism is a high, important way to do that. Because nothing can replace good old-fashioned systems knowledge. In addition to learning your job, you've got to learn something else about the disciplines that are related to your job. Now that's going to take some extra effort on your part, but it's important because the prime ingredient of airmanship is being situationally aware. And when the chips are down, that awareness is going to give you the edge. 
when you need to accomplish the mission. The peace we all share today is a monument to the skills of those missileers who have gone before you and the quality and performance you produce each day. Now, tomorrow's deterrence is yet to be won. Now, that's your place in history. The Strategic Air Command has kept the peace for more than 40 years now. And SAC is the most important military organization in the free world. America knows it. Our allies know it. And perhaps most importantly, our adversaries know it. Now, you need to be proud of SAC. And you need to be proud of your mission and proud of your skills and be proud of your Air Force and of this great country of ours. I know that I'm proud of each and every one of you.